Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So tonight, the kids are now in bed. The baby is trying to go to sleep. So this is the time I get to finally get things done around the house without getting a ton of interruptions. Hopefully, fingers crossed, other than my, my hubby is playing a video game right now with his headphones on. So if you hear somebody in the background talking, that is him. He can't hear me talking, but sometimes he gets loud, so just so y'all know. We are going to tackle the fridge behind me and the pantry. I'm going to be organizing the fridge, which I'm really excited about. I know it's gonna be a chore to do, but I know that once it's done, it's gonna look so much better and hopefully it's gonna be better for us as a family and for the kids to grab their snacks and things. So I will share the items that I got to do that and then how I'm gonna be putting it together. And then the pantry, I organized that a while back. I do have a video on how I organized that. And so really just what happened is whenever the pandemic happened and the kids were home all the time, it just became crazy because I had to buy more food to keep them happy all day and things just started getting shoved everywhere, never in a bin, just like pushed on the shelf. So now it's a big old mess. All right, y'all, so I hope this video is motivational for you guys. If you have a spot in your home, whether it is the fridge or the pantry, but really it could be anywhere in your house that you're trying to organize and declutter and get under control, <laughs> then hopefully this video will help you either get some ideas of things or get you motivated to get up and do that one area that has been bothering you and you just want to get it over with, then this is definitely going to help you out. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do the fridge first and then we will do the paint tree. All right, y'all, so here's some of the items I'm gonna use in the fridge. And then I'm starting with these. If I need to get more, I will get more once we figure out what we need. But for now, this is what I'm gonna start with. So this I got from Target the other day. These are called produce bins. It comes with like this little piece on the inside that sits at the bottom. And I could put like a paper towel underneath it so that the fruit and the veggies sit on this little plate here. And then the paper towel will soak up any of the moisture and keep them good for longer. So I got two of those. I got this also from Target. This is for eggs and then this one here is for sodas, so it's got the opening. You can put some here and then some on top as well. And then obviously with the lid on here, if you don't put sodas on top, you can, you know, stack other bins on top of it. So that works out well. And then I shared this in one of my other videos, but I grabbed these when I was at Home Goods. Two of these larger bins and then two of the smaller ones. And these are a little bit more shallow. I grabbed these at my local grocery store. These are from, oh, they're from H-E-B. They're just regular um, like Tupperware containers, the real long skinny ones. But I saw this on Pinterest and I thought that I would put these in the door of the fridge and fill them with like oh, snacks for the that. kids. So it's easier for them to open up and know exactly where the foods are that they can grab and they can get them easily out of there. So we'll see how that works out. I think these will fit just fine in the door. So I grabbed, it came in a two pack and I grabbed three of those. So I've got six total. I may or may not use all of them, but I thought I would try it out. Now I'm probably not gonna need the lids for them because you wanna leave it open like this so it's easy for them to grab. So I won't need these, but obviously they come with lids. I also have a couple other smaller ones like this that are really long and skinny that are in the pantry. And once we get started, if I do need more, I'll grab those from the pantry and end up getting different kinds of bins for the pantry later on but we'll just see what we have and what I need so far. So obviously the first thing that we need to do is clean the fridge out so I can get everything out. I can go through it as I'm taking things out so that I know what's getting thrown away, what needs to be cleaned out and what is gonna be kept. Then I can start putting it in all our different separate bins and how I wanna organize it. And then of course, cleaning out the fridge itself. Make sure we're cleaning out all of the shelves. This thing is very old, this fridge is so it already looks really dingy, but I know that it needs a really good cleaning because I can't even remember the last time I did that. So 
That is definitely gonna happen. And then once that's done, we can start putting everything back in the fridge, nice and organized, and move things around and see how it's gonna work out. And then that is where I will start doing the little kids like snack area of the things that they can grab themselves when they open the door. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I just pulled out everything from the top shelf. I'm actually gonna go shelf by shelf because I get overwhelmed pretty easily. And I feel like if I take everything out at once, go through it, it just might take me longer because my brain will be on overload. So I've gotten everything out of the top shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and go through that now, make sure I'm only keeping the items that either um, are still good, that we know we're gonna eat and keep, and then the rest will go in the trash. Or if there's like a container in there that needs to be cleaned out, it'll get cleaned out. that I could actually take out of the fridge. I took those out to the sink and washed them there. And then I also took these ones up here, three of them, the glass uh, shelves, and also washed those in the sink with soap. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some uh, Clorox spray to spray down everything that I couldn't take out, including this shelf right here, which is the uh, dirtiest one. It's the grossest one. Um, and then once we start putting everything back, then I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom shelves, which this is like meat and cheese, and this is veggies and a couple fruits. Um, so that way I can go through all that in a minute. I wanted to get this cleaned first so I can actually start putting things back before I finished these two. sodas, that kind of stuff. And then working my way down is going to be, I want to try to keep the stuff that I need to cook with and that the adults need to use at the top. And then more of the snacks, veggies, and fruits down lower on the bottom because some of those things my kids like to eat and that's also good for them to have as a snack. So I want anything that's for them to be lower, anything that they are not supposed to have to be higher. So, so far I've got all of our coffee and creamer stuff up here in this bin right here. And then this big one I'm gonna use for Home Chef. We get Home Chef delivered every week and it's about two to three meals uh, for every week. So it, when the box comes, it's quite a lot of things. So I used 
the really big tall bin for that. Right now we only have one home chef left for this week, but we actually get the shipment tomorrow. So hopefully everything will fit in here. And then if not, I can always put some in the back behind it or right here in between the bins. And then as we use the food, obviously, then there'll still be space up there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go down to this one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put our eggs here. And then I haven't decided yet what we're putting in these bins, but let me do the eggs first. And then I will go through what I have left and figure out what is gonna go in those bins. pretty does that look? <laughs> I think I'm gonna use one of those for like leftovers that we keep, like we got food out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the leftovers in there. I think I'm gonna go ahead in this one and put like extra food items that we have to make. Like this for example, can go in there. I have extra raviolis. Um, we don't actually keep a whole lot of food like that anymore because we get home chef and then the other times we either eat out or I make something super quick so I don't really have enough food like that to be kept in the fridge. Um, the only thing is I have these and I haven't really decided yet where to put these. I like to keep them in the fridge just because they stay better longer. Okay, really all I have left now is condiments and then I have, obviously I need to go through the bottom two bins of fruit, veggies, and meats and cheeses, and then obviously the kids' snack foods. Okay, my other things I have left, I have this ran homemade ranch, sour cream, and ricotta cheese. I don't really have any space here left, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these on top of the eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in some of the snack foods. So in, I put up my little cups here. There's three here, three here. So in this one, I put the rest of our string cheese in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some strawberries in one, and I also have a raw broccoli and some grapes. So those for sure I know I want to put in there for them. I also have these little yogurts right here and then I have these as well. These are mainly for me but some of my kids like to eat them so again I don't know where I'm putting these yet. I might have to move a couple things around once we get the rest in there but we'll see. This fridge is not very big so it's really hard to try to get everything in there the way I want it. So we're just gonna do our best. <laughs> here for them. So I think what I'm gonna do with my little yogurts here, I'm gonna put them on this shelf. Now these two right here are gonna be for fresh fruit um, and veggies. I might just use it for fruit for the kids to grab um, and then do something different in here. But since this doesn't take up too much space, I could always move these over and then put my yogurts right here on the side. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for now. y'all the fridge is done so up here at the top is just for butter and stuff I didn't really change any of that up then we have just kind of extra stuff so extra juices that don't fit on the top um, I've got lemon juice and lime juice this is like a browning sauce just some extra liquids and condiments and this is pretty much all of the condiments so we've got you know your regular ketchup mayo mustard we've got jellies we've got uh, Nesquik syrup and then some hot sauces in the back Parmesan cheese and then down here are these snacks for the kids So these are little yogurt packs Broccoli grapes and then down here we have carrots. These are apple sauces and um, cheese sticks, which I need to get more of and then This seriously it looks so good. I'm so happy with it So we've got an extra coffee that didn't fit down here our milks, 
and some sodas, then we usually have way more than just one left. So whenever we get another case of soda, that'll go in here. I've got some Ensure drinks and then a couple beers left I put up on top. Down here, this is gonna be for Home Chef. This is all of our creamers and coffees. And then down here, we've got our eggs, our ranch dip, and then I've got like cheese dip, sour cream, biscuits, and then ricotta cheese in the back. That one is for leftovers. And then here is um, some macaroni and cheese and raviolis and this one. And then when we're done with our leftovers back there, I might turn, I might end up putting more foods like this once I go back to the store to get some because I usually grab a couple of these and a couple of these. So when we have food items like that that are packaged, then I'll put some in that as well. And then we move down below. We've got apples in here and some snap peas behind them. We've got strawberries, applesauce, and then in the very back, there's some other yogurts. Those are usually the ones that I eat. Then down here, and then in this drawer, this is mainly for veggies. Right now we don't have very many, but mushrooms and lettuce. And then I did throw in the tortillas that I like to keep in there since we had room for them. And down here is for cheeses. We've got sliced cheese, we've got cube cheese, shredded cheese. I've got a bag of um, sausage, pepperonis, bacon. These are crispy taco shells that I like to keep in the fridge as well just because they keep better that way. They don't get stale as fast and same thing with these tortilla strips. After I've opened the package, I like to leave them in the fridge. That way they stay good for longer. Okay, moving on to the pantry. This is what I've got so far. It's getting pretty late and I'm getting really tired. <laughs> so I did this. The only thing I have to do next is the top area up here and then down here at the very bottom and this last one, which usually what I put here is just um, like mixers, those foils and cake stands and stuff like that will go here. 
and then down here we just have our bags and dog food so I need to clean that up and then up top will be just cereal and a couple other things um, that are like miscellaneous that we really don't use very much that will go up there so I'll take everything down and clean it just like I've done the rest but I'll probably do that tomorrow sometime but to show y'all what I've got so far here this level is for the kids snacks and things you know for mommy and daddy to eat as well but mainly just snacking food so we've got one of these this has fritos in it we've got the um fruit snacks we've got popcorn this is one of those boom chicka pops but this is just their kettle corn then we have this one has like chips in it we've got these the sweet and salty popcorn some chips here for them and then some Ritz crackers this one has blue corn chips that are so delicious y'all these are amazing these are the Target brand and they're oh I need to get more obviously this is gonna have lots of different like Nutri-Grain bars we've got fiber one I'm sorry we've got these oatmeal these soft baked oatmeal bars that Jade likes um, these ones are like fiber one protein bars for the kids as well we've got some oatmeal back here maple and brown sugar this is for baby boy there's only one left so I just threw it in there and then these little things these are like um, apple sauces there's only two left but the kids were not the biggest fan of them so I probably won't be buying these anymore but I was, I was hoping they would like them just because it comes with protein in it but mm, I'm guessing you can taste the protein because they were not a fan, but I threw those last two in there. Hopefully they'll get eaten soon. <laughs> and then over here we've got Kool-Aids. I've got chia seeds there that I use. And then some whole green um, rolled oats. Now for this level, this is mainly for cooking for mommy. So we've got these guys um, with our seasonings that we need. And then of course all of our canned goods over there we've got these guys i've had these forever i don't even remember where i got them or when i got them but they work out great for all the different pastas and the rice and then another turntable for some more seasonings and then we've got um this stuff is what i would use for cooking it's kind of like a miscellaneous thing you know you've got salad dressing in the back we've got caro syrup we've got baking soda baking powder and some relish so just different things that we use um but you know i didn't want to put them in separate bins so that works out plus i kind of push those to the side i try to make everything that you can see right when you open the door obviously more pleasing to the eye very aesthetically pleasing and mainly the stuff that we go to usually the stuff that we don't use as much kind of goes on these corners over here now for this one this is again more for mommy cooking this is going to have the stuff that is, we've got soup, we've got little packets, whether it's like this ranch packet or um, the country gravy. And then we have these uh, potatoes in a bag. I've got some suddenly pasta salad, the waffle mix, and panko breadcrumbs. This one has, in the back it has one some of those seasoning packets, the liquid seasonings. And then I've got these um, mini chocolate chip muffin mixes over here this is going to be all for baking so it's got like sprinkles in it it has the cupcake tin things um a candle chocolates jello that kind of thing and then over here again miscellaneous stuff that was pretty big so it didn't really need to be in a bin altogether. so we got like an extra oil got cold brew breadcrumbs back there is chicken bouillon and cornstarch over here this one's gonna have more of like kind of like condiments so we've got uh, Nutella peanut butter honey pancake syrup and this this spray bottle appears like butter for popcorn and then over here again just like miscellaneous bags that have like half opened you know half gone so we've got a little bit of pasta left there's flour in there there's powdered sugar in there and then I've got my new mama package drink back there and some more tortilla strips because I love those things so I try to keep a lot on hand but yeah so that's what I've got so far I really love the way everything has turned out and the way that it's put together we're usually really really good about keeping it this, this way so when I organized this 
last time I was pregnant with Knox and it stayed organized for a good like four or five months and it was great. It was only when, well shoot, I guess it was really like six, six months. So it was only around the time that I had him that it really got out of hand just because I was busy with the newborn. So I really didn't <laughs> try to keep up with it. So I'm sure that we'll be able to keep it together. Mommy's really the only one that's in here the most, you know, putting things away. So I'll be able to put everything away correctly. But yeah, I love it. All right, y'all, that is it for my organizing my pantry and my fridge video for you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some motivation to tackle anything in your home that has just been driving you nuts and you wanna get this over with. Go run in there right now, put this video on and get that thing done. So again, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Thank you.